In this lecture, we're going to discuss a concept known as the Maxwell distribution. The Maxwell distribution essentially gives us the most probable distribution of the speeds of our gas molecules inside our gaseous system. Let's suppose we have the following closed container and inside this closed container we have n number of gas molecules. So this is our gaseous system. Now if we examine the speeds of the molecules inside our gaseous system, we'll see that there is a wide range of velocities. Some molecules which are colliding with the walls of the container have a zero velocity, they're momentarily at rest, while other molecules have a very high velocity. Now if we want to determine the number of molecules with a certain velocity, we have to use something known as the Maxwell distribution. The Maxwell distribution gives us the most probable distribution of the speeds of our molecules inside our gaseous system and it's given by the following curve. So the y-axis gives us the relative number of molecules inside our gaseous system and the x-axis gives us the velocity. So for example, if we want to determine the average velocity, well, we simply have to use a certain formula. We determine the average velocity and then we plot that along the x-axis. And then we draw a straight line going up and then a straight line going across. And this number, this value represents the number of molecules that have this speed, the average velocity. So this curve is known known as the Maxwell distribution of speeds and it's given by the following equation. So f of v is equal to 4 pi n where n is the number of gas molecules in our system. We multiply that by m, divide that by 2 pi k times t and raise it to the power of 3 divided by 2. Now m is the mass of our gas molecules, pi is a constant, k is also a constant known as the Boltzmann constant, and t is the temperature given in kelvins. And we multiply this by v squared, our velocity squared, and multiply that by e to the power of negative mv squared divided by 2k times t. So we see that the Maxwell distribution of the speeds is related to the temperature which is given in Kelvin. Now how can we use the Maxwell distribution to calculate the total number of molecules? Well the total number of molecules given by n is simply given by taking the integral of this entire curve beginning at zero and going all the way to infinity. Infinity. So if we integrate the following function, we get the area under the curve and the area under the curve gives us the total number of gas molecules inside our gaseous system. So we take the integral from 0 to infinity of f of v dv and that gives us n, the total number of gaseous molecules. Now what exactly is the meaning of this product f of v multiplied by infinitely small change dv? So the product f of v multiplied by dv is equal to the number of molecules that have a velocity that ranges between v and v plus dv. So let's look at the following example in which we're going to use the Maxwell distribution or the concept of Maxwell distribution to determine the RMS velocity as well as the temperature of our gaseous system. A certain gaseous system contains 16,200 gas molecules. So the N number N is equal to this value. So each gas molecule has the same mass given by 1.0 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. So this is our Maxwell distribution. So 
1,700 molecules have a velocity of 220 meters per second. 4,200 have a velocity of 440 meters per second and all the way down to this value. So 600 molecules have a velocity of 1,400. So if we plot these values on the xy axis, we'll get the following our red curve as shown. And this is known as the Maxwell distribution of speeds of our gaseous molecules. So, in part A, we want to determine the root mean square velocity of our system. And in part B, using the root mean square velocity, what effective temperature would the gas have? So, we want to find the temperature of our gaseous system. So, let's begin by recalling what the equation for root mean square velocity is. So, we simply take the square of the speed, we multiply that by the number of molecules and we add all of these effects. So 1,700 molecules have a speed of 220. So 220 squared multiplied by 1,700 plus 4,200 molecules multiplied by 440 meters per second. Square that and we continue. So we take the sum of the squares and we divide by the number of gas molecules, N, which is given to be 16,200 molecules. So we take the sum, we divide, take the square root, and we see that the root mean square velocity is equal to about 735 meters per per second. Now, using this quantity, we want to determine the temperature of our gaseous system that has the Maxwell distribution. So, VRMS is equal to the square root of 3 times K times T divided by M, where M is the mass of any molecule, T is the temperature in Kelvins, and K is Boltzmann constant. 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 joules per Kelvins. So we simply take this equation, we rearrange and solve for the temperature. The temperature in Kelvin is equal to VRMS squared, so this quantity squared multiplied by the mass divided by 3 multiplied by K, the Boltzmann constant. So 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 joules per Kelvin, the Kelvin goes on top and we get about 130. Kelvins is our temperature of the gaseous system that has the Maxwell distribution of speeds where the RMS velocity, the root mean square velocity, is equal to this quantity.